Well, hello, my wonderful Earth signs, and welcome to your weekly reading. It is, uh, we're, we're done with Valentine's Day, but it's still a month where we're celebrating love, and especially self-love, and so I brought out the uh, self-love and um, self-care oracle again for this week. This video is for you if you have a sun, moon, or rising in Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or if you are cross-watching somebody with that combination. I'm just asking that the angels, guides, guardians, and the power of God and goddess be here to give us some clarity and some comfort for all of my beautiful earth signs. What do they need to know this week? It's in regards to self-love and self-care. Where, do, where does their focus need to be on um, in regards to self-love and self-care here for my earth signs? Practice self-care. Well, that's what we're talking about. The card actually says, serve others, but no, don't neglect your own needs. You can't give what you don't already have. Replenish your cup and attend to yourself. So this is just kind of an overall message of, hey, you are such a giver, right? You, you just love to serve other people. And, and I, I get that. It feels good to give to other people. But it also feels really bad when you're coming from an empty cup, doesn't it? And so this week, I want you to just focus on and, and ask yourself the question, what do I do to fill my cup? What do I do to replenish? Where does my mind need to go? Where does my power need to be, you know, um, filtered into? You know, where, what do I need to do to fill my cup? It is about replenishing. I love that she's napping on the moon here and she's so comfortable, right? Her arms are down like she is just like so comfortable in this position. So might be taking a little bit more rest. We have the numbers 42. I always like to point out numbers because you might see them this week to validate the reading. 4, 2, or 6, which is 4 plus 2. Um, she also has a little fairy here on her knee, which that always reminds me of nature. And there's some bunnies down here. You may need to spend some time outside. Um, you know, depending on what the weather's like where you are. I know that we're still February. It still might be kind of cold depending on where you live. But see if you can at least get outside underneath that night sky, earth signs. You know, um, look at that canopy of stars if you can, if you have a, a night that's not cloudy. Starlight is very rejuvenating. And so um, that's kind of the, the, the vision that I'm getting here from, for you from your angels is really um, being outside in, in the night and getting that starlight, um, spending just a moment, maybe having a conversation with yourself. That can be very rejuvenating. I'm also hearing it doesn't take much to fill your cup. You know, you're, you're not as high maintenance as maybe you think you are. It doesn't take much. Honestly, if you could just spend, you know, 10 minutes outside talking to a tree, drinking some water, closing your eyes, going within. I mean, it does not take much to replenish you. You just have to do it. Okay. You guys are tough. You've got a, you've got a really big bandwidth um, for and, and a high tolerance for, for discomfort. But that doesn't mean that you should stay in that zone, all right? Let's see what this means here for my Capricorns. Taurus. And Virgo. Capricorn, you've got the Knight of Water. Wow, this is a romance card. This is like, uh, you know, someone is, is watching you. Somebody wants to ask you out. If you are in a relationship, this is romance really taking uh, it's kind of center stage. And so um, let yourself receive from someone else. Let somebody else take you out. Let somebody, even if you're a guy, let somebody else kind of, um, you know, uh, and I had to say that because I know uh, sometimes the masculine energy wants to always be the giver. And um, sometimes it's nice to receive as well, right? So regardless of your gender or what you um, associate with um, or identify with, this is just about receiving. This is about somebody wants to romance you. Somebody wants to take you out to, you know, allow yourself to receive compliments um, instead of saying, oh, you know, and arguing with the compliment. And somebody says, you look so good. Oh, this is all oh, this old thing. You know, it's about just smiling and looking at them and saying, thank you. To receive a gift is to honor the giver. That's a channeled message for you. To receive the gift is to honor the giver. So you honor the people who want to reach out and help you, okay? But above and beyond, this is a romantic week for you. Maybe you and a significant other are practicing self-care together. Maybe the two of you are getting a massage or you are, um, you know, going and massaging each other's feet, whatever that is. And if you're single, just keep your eyes open. I think somebody's got their eye on you, Capricorn. Taurus, you've got the world. 
Um, this is about enlightenment. We are in Pisces season. It's, it's a very beautiful time to start listening to your soul. I think also this marks the end of a cycle, an end of a story or chapter for you. So whatever you've been working really hard at, you are wrapping some things up. You are, um, I don't want to say say goodbye, but it's almost like you're just kind of walking over a threshold. You're graduating in some way. And so you do need some downtime. You actually need to see how far you've come. The world, as you can see, it's like a celebration. People are like, cheers and, and yay. So can you celebrate yourself? Um, you know, fill your cup uh, with a little bit of champagne, but also with some self-acknowledgement. Sometimes when we don't get acknowledgement from the world, we need to give it to ourselves, right? So you you may be receiving some sort of compliment, accolade, uh, promotion. But I also say when it comes to practice self-care, you need to give that to yourself. You need to mark your own completions, right? And and to give yourself the the rewards. So this might be a week where you're like, I have been working really hard. Therefore, I'm going to let myself have a few nights to just not do anything and take myself out to a dinner or something like that. Give yourself a little party, a little celebration. Recognize how far you've come. If you don't recognize it, sometimes it will go unrecognized and you deserve to be recognized for all your hard work, Taurus. Virgo, you've got the moon card. So this is a very intuitive week for you. I think your soul is speaking to you. I really do. I think that you are really being called to listen above and beyond your own intrusive mind. We all have monkey minds, right? We all have a bunch of just, your, your mind is a bunch of thoughts running around, chatting around. Your soul is really trying to get your attention through all of that. And so, um, and your soul is saying you need to slow down. It is, it's saying that it's time to slow down. It's time to stop trying, stop pushing, stop strategizing and planning, and instead rest and receive divine guidance. If you want to know what your next step is, it's not going to be something you come up with. Wow. There's a channeled message for you. Your next step is not going to be anything that you yourself come up with. It is going to be given to you. So if you have been trying to plan and strategize and you're trying to make a list and if things are just like not working out, you're bumping your head against the wall, it's because you're trying to make up the plan and you need to be wait you need to be waiting for the plan to be given to you. So hard to do. And what do you do in the meantime? Practice patience. That is a virtue we're here to master. So what do we do when we're being patient? We are, you know, this is a this is an act of full faith for you. Full on faith for you, Virgo. That you are just gonna be like, I, I don't know. <laughs> how to do nothing, but that's exactly what you need to be doing until the plan is given to you. Wait and be patient. Trust the unseen. Trust your intuition. You will know the difference between you coming up with an idea and that idea being given to you. Trust me, you'll know. All right, my beautiful earth signs, it's a beautiful week of taking care of yourself, giving yourself some much needed time, space, reward, accolade. Let yourself receive this week whether it be from the universe, from yourself, from a loved one. It's going to be a really great week for you. Sending you so much love, light, and everything right. Angel blessings.